How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, I'm gonna be starting a full back piece and I wanna show you guys the way I'm gonna approach this. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go. I gotta get ready for tomorrow. First thing is first, gotta charge this tablet. Gotta charge microphones. Two batteries so I never run out of uh, charge. <laughs> All right, here's the plan. Wake up, six in the morning. I don't like to rush, so I wake up, take my time, do my thing. It's gonna be an amazing day tomorrow. Good night. But before I leave though, we trying to grow some grass out here. I've been out here for literally like a minute and my back is dripping already. Like I'm sweating, bro. Okay, I hate this feeling as soon as I take off, I feel like I forgot something. Do I have my tablet? Do I got my camera? So much traffic, bro. Desgraciado tráfico, cabrón. Vete pa'l carajo, hijo de la gran... Yeah, 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 yeah. It is about 8 a.m. I came in a little early just so I can set up my station. My toolbox looking a little dirty, so I gotta... Whatever that means. This is what I mean. It's not organized. It's looking... Disgusting. I literally don't know what to do with so much room. So now I'm gonna head over to the restaurant so we can have breakfast with my client before we start today's session. Oh, he's here. Have a seat. Damn. Let me see that merch though. Breakfast for champions. Damn, Richard, breathe, my dude. <laughs> You're swallowing your sandwich. <laughs> it was an amazing breakfast with great company. Like my grandma used to say, estómago lleno, corazón contento. And I got to meet a subscriber. <laughs> How are you gonna start? Do you just go after it? Do you freestyle? Well, I already got the outline ready to go. Okay. So, the only thing I gotta do right now is start packing in blacks, texture. Just don't get my headlight, bro. It's broken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wanna be with you. Sitting like that, it reminded Richard when they used to put him on timeout. So he had to tell me his story. It would make you put your stand at an angle and put your head on the wall. That was timeout for you? That was timeout. <laughs> All right, let's get it. Okay, the approach that I'm gonna be taking, we have the blood line here. So what I wanna do is start with my contrast on the bottom here, transitioning into my gray and lightest gray with textures. I wanna start with my contrast first. So I'm probably gonna do my blacks here, but I'm only gonna be using a 14 round liner. Within 15 minutes, I realized that my client's chair was way too high. My chair was way too low. There was no way I was going to make it through the day. My shoulder is getting tired. I was like, this is too high. I'm tattooing like this. Let's just give it a try. Have a seat. How do you feel? <laughs> Whatever, bro. <laughs> After applying my dark tones, I'm ready to execute the texture with my medium gray and make it look like stone. Now that we got that done, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the way I did this on this side. Uh, the only thing I'm gonna do right now is just pack in my black before I start adding the grays, because I feel like the grays is what really, is what really makes the difference on here. You gotta trust the pro progress or process? Process. Trust the process. It looks empty, naked. There you but go. But once you add the, the shading, the bedazzle, that's when it, it, it becomes what it's supposed to look like. Right. Before somebody comments about the line work, this was on purpose. To be able to achieve the illusion that it looks like stone, I have to be able to imitate what the statue actually looks like. So I'm gonna start wherever my heart desires. Mm -hmm. As soon as I started doing this area, I realized that the 14 round liner was not gonna help me, so I had to switch to a seven round liner. I'm gonna start right here, texture. And like I said, I'm using my seven round liner. The most important thing here is keeping in mind where the highlight is. Don't rush it. It's such a big project that it's very easy to just mess up the contrast and the highlights. So take your time. It is very important to be patient on this area because doing texture will definitely make you feel frustrated. So take your time and breathe. If I hum a song, can you guess what song I'm singing to, Richard? Oh, I'm, I'm gonna do my best. <clears throat> Hold on. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Lollipop. No. Wait, bro. <laughs> How the fuck did you guess that? Dad, I know your brain, bro. I forgot, you're kind of like leaning over as much as I am, huh? Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> We're like Legos right now. We're yeah. like this, like this. 
So you're the big spoon, I'm the little spoon? I, I'm, I'm the big spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your best imitation of Mickey Mouse. I 100% underestimated this tattoo, it has a whole bunch of detail. When I put together this design, I set myself up for success. So I really thought I was gonna go through it way faster than this, but as soon as I started doing it, I realized that all the little details are time consuming, so I had to take my time and be patient. How do you feel? Tired? A little feel, exhausted, huh? I feel more bad for you. Me? <laughs> at, oh, least no. I got a, at least I got a pillow. <laughs> I'm warming up. <laughs> this is my warm up. It's like a, point, a, a good yeah. point to stop, to be honest. There was a lot. There was a lot in there. There's a lot of detail in there. I know, there. that's what, like I was saying it a little bit ago, but. Mentally was already yeah. draining me right now, to be yeah. honest. It's a, good, it's a good stopping point. Dude, thank you. I appreciate it. I would it. hug you, but. No, 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 so you're good. Thank you. You cause enough pain today. <laughs> today is day two on this back piece. Yesterday we got far enough, uh, and I feel like today my goal is to do the bottom part. How you feeling? <sighs> Exquisite. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Going up, perro. Damn, Kenny, you're zooming in, bro. Get in there. I want to see how close you are to your design, bro. <laughs> you zoomed God out. damn! You gotta get it right here. Got... <laughs> zoom out, zoom out. I want to see how. Hasta los piojitos. Hasta los piojitos. <laughs> Let me see, zoom out. <sighs> God damn, you were in there. Kevin Spencer right there. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that is my stuff. I know it is. That's fucked up, bro. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. I know you would, because then you'd be like, you know, when I'm tattooing, I'll fix it, and I'll just go straight. <laughs> I know you. <laughs> On day one, I took a lot of notes and I realized that my best approach for the whole entire back piece was going to be using a 7 round liner with using nothing but solid black. I knew that it would give me the texture that I was looking for to make it look like a statue. <laughs> Once I saw the way it was turning out, I knew that I had made the right choice and I committed to using this technique for the whole project. I do want to say that just because you're using a 7 round liner, it doesn't mean that it's going to make you a lot slower. I got super comfortable that I started going at a really good pace. As I was doing the skull, my client started feeling a lot more pain, so I just decided to finish up with this area and send them home. I am so hyped for today! My tires are low! I'm about to start drifting out here. <laughs> Day three! Oh. Let's go to start! What do we got? Have you seen it at all? We got some meticulous some hats. Oh shit, he got some new hats. That's crazy. Gonna be on the website soon. Honestly, Wait. personal favorite, I gotta be real, personal favorite. I love that he says this, meticulous, like that's his brand. Cause he's been saying that since I've known this man. This right here, that's like the most recognizable thing about Kevin. That's fun. When using this technique, the skin does turn red and irritated, but once the skin settles, the way the tattoo looks is amazing. On this area, I'm not putting a lot of pressure on the skin because on this area, I want the face to look brighter than anything else. The way I'm using the scribble technique is by separating the scribbles and paying attention to my contrast and highlights. Since I'm using solid black, it is really easy to make something really dark, so I gotta take my time. The best way to achieve texture is by not finding a shortcut. It is to literally do every single little thing that you see and make it stand out. You have to match the same energy from beginning to end or you're gonna really see the difference. I had to let it heal before going back in, 
but the back piece is turning out insane with the whole bunch of texture so much contrast and it's just looking amazing i can't wait like i can't wait to finish it this is gonna be an insane project ah it's pulling your piercing no no it doesn't hurt Pull oh it. <laughs> ah. <laughs> it doesn't hurt <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh no, I'm pulling your piercing, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I've had it like. I look, it cringe. I cringe so hard right now, bro. You have no idea. I was like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> like, come finish this. <laughs> I, I, almost, I almost put my phone down, too, bro. Making the sounds. Oh, man. <laughs> Wait, so this goes like in, like a, across, huh? Yeah, there's a barbell right in between. Oh, damn, that's crazy. And you can poke it out. Uh, no! <laughs> <laughs> the worst noise I I've ever made was when I was playing soccer against these older dudes. And you know older dudes, they take that shit serious. Oh, yeah. I was 19 at that yeah, time. Yeah. I was fast as yeah, fuck, boy. So I was fucking sprinting, right? So then I relaxed my body because the, the ball went out of bounds okay. right next to the goal. The defender goes around me. And as I'm about to grab it, to give it to the goalie, the dude goes around and kicks it into me. And I just go, and I, was, oh, shit. And I drop. Yeah. And all I heard, and me, I'm on the ground and I just go, <laughs> I really enjoy doing this part of the back and the concept that we chose because it allowed me to cover up the tattoo without a problem. The amount of shapes and texture that this area had, it allowed me to have fun and be spontaneous by freestyling some areas and improvise. On this area, the skin can get really irritated and it's really sensitive, so make sure to pay attention. If you see the skin going through a lot of trauma, make sure to stop and send the client home. <laughs> Sorry. But think about it, you're gonna have a back piece for the rest of your life. <laughs> that's, that's the, that's like, the that don't mean it don't hurt. Yeah. I know, everybody wants a back piece until they're getting it done. <laughs> yeah, until so they see it. That's how it is. As soon as I got to the bottom, it got really tricky for Richard. Very sensitive area, so I had to navigate and take my time to be able to complete it. One thing I would recommend for this area is to invest in a really good razor to get rid of all the baby hairs on the lower back. My seven mile liner was getting caught in the little baby hair so I had to stop to shave my client one more time.
En la parte de arriba de este proyecto quise empezar con la cultura madre, los Olmecas, la primer civilización de Mesoamérica, que habitó en las tierras bajas del Golfo de México. Gracias a ellos los toltecas, mayas y mexicas existieron. En la parte del medio de este proyecto tenemos a Cualtlicue, la diosa madre de los mexicas, creadora del sol y la diosa de la fertilidad. En la parte inferior de la espalda tenemos a Quetzalcóatl. Para los mexicas, mayas y toltecas, la serpiente emplumada o Cuculcán es el dios de la vida y la luz, relacionado con el viento y el agua, el dios de la naturaleza y la vegetación. Y al costado de la espalda tenemos a Dilten 26 de Yaxchilán, una representación maya donde la señora Chuck está preparando a su esposo Escudo Jaguar II para la guerra. Este proyecto es muy importante para mí no solo por mis raíces, pero también tiene un significado muy profundo que está lleno de historia. Y es un honor para mí seguir contando su historia por medio de mi arte, igual que ellos lo hicieron. Y aquí les presento el resultado final de este proyecto que lo llamé Cultura Madre. Gracias.